for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, but are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ. God put forward his blood to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness because in his divine forbearance, he had passed over former sins. Did you hear me? I said I need to be punished, sir. Let me meet you. Can't that wait? My rules, remember. Let me try. Where you going, homie? I'm sorry. I was looking for somebody. It's not nobody else in the whole street. Like, who is she that she got you tripping and you can't even see where you're going? Uh, it's a he. He's about 5'11", brown skin. So he was with this guy right around the corner at the restaurant. Okay. Are you talking about Winston? Yeah. You know? How do you know Winston? Well, I can't tell you all that right now. Really? No, I can't. My name is Kevin. Me and Winston go way back. Well, Winston calls me Pain. Pain? But I will. <laughs> I like Pain. I like to receive it. Interesting. Are you sure you can't tell me why you look for Winston? No, I can't tell you. You know what? I don't buy it. Let's take a walk and talk. Let's see. So, where you from, bro? He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son. In whom we have redemption, the 
and forgiveness of sins. Catch you at a bad time. Huh? You really have some nerve showing up to my house. Hey, sister. Again. What now? Baby. Really? Really, Ashton? Calm down, baby. I'm not your enemy. So what are you, my friend? No, 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 no. My ex-lover. No, matter of fact, I'm, I'm forgetting one. This is the good one. You're the person that's looking out for me. I can't forget that one. Right? Ashton. I know what I told you about Winston was a lot to take in all at once. But I had to do it. <laughs> you need to know who you're dealing with. All right, you can save your fake concerns because you know what, Clint? I mean, you got what you wanted. Winston is out of my life. Out of your life. You were a pawn to Winston. This was a game to him, Ashton. A game. Um... You know what, Clint? You really take joy in just snatching the one chance I had into potentially having somebody to love me. To love? That punk could never, ever, ever love you as much as I do. As I did. As I do. You didn't hear me the first time I came back. Huh? Ashton. Ashton, I came back because I love you, baby. I love you, Ashton. I love you. I love you. I love you. Look, your love is poison. I mean, just looking at you makes me sick to my stomach. You don't even mean that, Ashton. You don't mean that. Beyond sick, just, I'm just repulsed by looking at you. So I make you sick, huh? Babe, I make you sick. Yes. You don't even believe that. See, that, that's the thing with you, Clint. You think because we have good sex that I want you? I think that you started fucking Winston because he reminded you of me. I think that you started fucking him because he reminded you of me. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me Winston doesn't remind you of me. You have the biggest ego. I mean, listen to yourself. You fucking know me. I never pretended to be a fucking saint. I didn't lie to you. I didn't fucking lie to you. You know me. You know my good. You know my bad. You know my freaky baby. You know me. Can you say the same about Winston? Do you fucking know him? 
Well, I didn't expect to hear from you. I just needed clarity on that story that you told me. I tried to give you just that the last time I saw you. But you just dismissed yourself and you didn't even give me a chance. Okay, well, I'm here now and I'm listening. Winston and I are brothers. We have the same mother. Wait, I'm just not buying that. I mean, how could I have not known? Winston and I don't talk about our past. And for our privacy, as well as our protection, all of our records were changed. And we were moved around a lot. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? It just made it easier for our past to disappear and we could start over. Especially after we changed our last names. When I was young, my dad was killed. A few years after, she married again. That's how I got Winston. As the years went on, his dad started to drink more and more. And he got aggressive when he did, mostly to my mom. One day she said she had enough and that she was gonna leave. She was gonna take us with her. And he walked in on her. She had all of our bags packed. He beat her. He beat her until she lost consciousness. Winston found her. By the time I found him, he was crying and crying and just cradling my mom in his arms. And we, uh, we got her upstairs, cleaned her off. And his father just sat downstairs the entire time, watching TV like nothing happened. Later that night, Winston, he snuck into the garage and got his father's gun. And by that time, his father was passed out on the couch. He shot him one time. Killed him instantly. Oh my God. Wow. Look, me and Winston are over, so what fucking point are you making? Your boy has a sick, twisted, demented side to him, and you don't even know it. This nigga's into fucking threesomes, fisting, s and &M, he is twisted. He's just like me times fucking 10. <laughs> Do you know him? Are you talking about like some weird side of me stuff? Look, because at this point, you're kind of reaching for straws. Strands, rather. Give it up, Clint. Give it up, Clint. So you don't believe me. I met the dude that Winston's been fucking all this time. That y'all been doing y'all little thing. He told me all about Winston. All about the little freaky shit they did. All the times he let Winston fuck him raw. How he let him come inside him. He fucking this nigga raw. All right. Well, you know what? I mean, I, you know what, Clint? How convenient is that? You knowing that the guy Winston is fucking. How convenient. I mean, you probably set this shit up yourself. How? How, Ashton? With what fucking resources did I set this up? You don't believe me. Still. Let me call him. Let me dial up way up. And you can back up everything I told you. Every fucking detail. Every word. Here. 
All right. Oh, it's, uh, oh, she don't want to hear his voice. It's time for you to go. You remember that when y'all was at the Indigo? That dude that kept staring at Winston. How would I know that, baby? Y'all were there having dinner. He kept staring at Winston. That was him. His name was Payne. And Winston had been fucking him the whole time. Are you serious? Do you know him? <sighs> Winston is twisted, baby. Twisted. No, I don't miss you. I miss you. I miss touching you. Ashton, I miss holding you. I miss kissing you. I fucking miss being inside you, Ashton. But look, too bad because I don't miss you. Get out! You felt that. I didn't feel anything. You fucking felt Clint, get out. My mom and I heard the gunshot from downstairs when she... When she grabbed him, he just had this look in his eyes. She took the gun and I snatched him away. And just the look on his face was... The police came. Um, my mom, she tried to claim self-defense. But even though we made it look like there was a struggle, they came to the conclusion that it wasn't self-defense because she hadn't reported anything before. And that she waited. They made it seem like we were traumatized. And that she had coerced us into... They wouldn't let us testify. She got a reduced sentence, but Winston and I were split up. Mm -hmm. I went with my dad's sister. He went with our grandparents. My aunt wouldn't let me see him. And we eventually lost contact. Oh my God, this is too much. When I... When I did find him, he wasn't even the same person anymore. Mm. It was like he recognized me, but I wasn't sure if I recognized him. The kid that I had grown up with, he wasn't there anymore. He changed by blocking it all out. 
That's probably why I couldn't tell you about it. He can't relive that. This is... Clayton, this is a lot. It's the truth. I don't feel like hiding anything else anymore. And with us, it's not like he sent me here. I wrote the story before I even knew you, before I even knew that he worked for you. He was furious when he found out. That picture that you even saw, that was, that was taken the day that I reconnected with him. By the time I realized the connection between the two of you, he, he offered he offered an interview with you just to clear things up. And by the time he realized how I felt for you, there was no way I would change it. We just made mistakes. No, and you came here and got what you wanted, so you can leave now. Damn, baby. It's like that? Clint, you're getting a little too comfortable. You can leave now. All right. Well, just take my new number and, um, you know, get out. Save the number. I don't want it. You know, this really felt like old times, Ashton. You know what it is? I'm about to, I want you to remember me, by though. You know? Before I go. I don't want it. No?
take my drink. Here you go, sir. Hug. <clears throat> if what you're saying is true, I'm sympathetic to everything that you and your brother have endured. I still feel betrayed. I mean, our entire relationship was one-sided. I'm sorry. You to pawn you on me? <laughs> I I just don't know what's going on. I don't I don't know what's going on. I just you know what? I started to call Winston again before I came over here. But I just couldn't muster up. Again? I couldn't muster up the nerve. What do you mean again? I called Winston not too long ago, but I figured he just ignored my phone call. I needed him to help me get Eva and JJ out of Easton, but now that she's married to Victor, it almost seems impossible. Well, who's JJ? And why do you even care about Eve getting out of um, Easton? You've destroyed her already. Exactly. And she's not thinking straight. She's and now good. I have to get JJ out of harm's way. Again, who is JJ? Clayton, what I'm about to tell you cannot leave this room. You have to promise me that it will not leave this room. I promise. JJ stands for Jabril Jr. What? Fallon, are you serious? Even Jabril have a son? Why have I never heard about that? It wasn't public knowledge. So they kept their child a secret. How in the hell did they manage they to do that? They didn't manage to do anything. When Jabril left those years ago, Eve found out that she was pregnant. So she and I came up with the brilliant idea of her raising the child alone and keeping the kid away from the family. Keeping? As in currently? Yes. So Jabril doesn't know he has a son? No, he doesn't. Fallon, what the hell? Why haven't you told that man? Because I can't be a part of the deceit. Well, you have to do something. That child, what if something happens to him while he's in Victor's care? I'm thinking of a plan. I'm trying to come up with a plan. Does Victor know? Yes, he told him. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my God, I wish all of this wasn't happening. If Winston was here, he would fix everything. Yeah, well, Winston is probably off somewhere with Ashton since he chose him over me. No, no, no. I went by Ashton's house and nothing. It looked like nobody had been there in months. Like it was abandoned. Well, well, maybe they're on vacation or something. Who knows? It's not like Winston did not answer his phone. He's never done that in regards to me. Well... He's done it to me, too. No offense, Fallon, but you're not me. Something's wrong. I know it. Okay, okay, clean. Okay. Let's, let's put our resources together and see what we can come up with to find them. All right? I'd appreciate that. Well, listen. Um, Listen, I'm not going to make you any promises, but I will make a few phone calls and I'll contact a couple of people. I'm sure you know some places in Easton that he might frequent. So I would appreciate it and I'll owe you one. Do you think? 
having a touch. Thank you. So, that was work today. Work was... Work is work. You know? Work is work. Yeah, like... Boy, I got you that job. You no, said you wanted I, to work in fashion again. Yeah, but it was inventory today, so... Oh, okay. Like I said. Well, there'll be better days. All right. How was your day? It was all right. I walked your dogs. Thank you. You know, I try to stay busy. Did you get them a little biscuit? A little dog food? Mm-mm. I told them to bring my biscuit home. <laughs> <laughs> I love you more. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness, it's like I got Nikki out here. Thanks for dinner. <laughs> Don't get too used to it. Oh. This motherfucker. I don't know why. Hey, what the fuck do you want? So this must be the Get out of here. Man, I'm not playing your bullshit games. You have five seconds to get out of our face. You can't boss a three Excuse me. my wife. Um, me. excuse me. I will break that. No, hey, keep talking oh, shit. Oh, oh, this is not, he's not worth it. You have so fuck much to lose. I'm not gonna let this cycle fuck with you. I'm not afraid fuck of him. With fuck with me. Listen, stop. What are you doing? Bella, I'm not gonna leave you alone Listen, with the psycho. Just what let me talk do? to her for five minutes. I'm telling you, I can handle it. Shut the fuck up. Clint, you might want to listen to the lady. Clint, stop. You might want to listen to the lady. Listen. Listen. I'm, I'm gonna let you in. Thank you. Can you wait for me in the house? Fallon, I'm gonna go right with Yes, give, give me my wife. Shut the fuck up. Make me. Fucking make me. Make, look, oh. make me. Clint. Oh. Listen. Wait, so do you know what you're doing? Boy, I mean, I'm not braiding it, I'm unbraiding it. Okay, but I'm saying like, do you know how to wash it and all that kind of stuff that goes into hair? I'm sure you can guide me through it. <sighs> I just don't want to have an episode and have all my hair falling out again, so. Yeah, me either. <laughs> me either. So I'm putting my trust in you. I think I got it. Yeah, whatever. Feel it. Don't. I feel right. Come on, how you gonna okay, mess I, up undoing the braid? All right, so go to the next one. Oh, okay, right. exactly. There we go. So what are we doing, well not we, because I ain't going to be a part of this, but what are you doing to this once this out? I'm going to coach you and you're going to see what we're going to do. We? We. Oh, this is a group project. So I'm going to teach you how to wash it <laughs> and condition it and okay. all that stuff. Okay. It's different. Different for me, but <laughs> for you, I'll try it out. We'll and you know it. the funny thing? What's that? Nobody has ever offered to take my hair out. No? Right. But first, we gotta get a massage, a head massage first. Nobody is Winston Corey either. Now, isn't that the truth? We'll see after the massage. <laughs> uh huh. All right, so we got two down. Wait, you ain't get the front. That's what you up there for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so start on the third one. Bam. I can't breathe. You can't breathe? No. Sometimes I like you that way. Boy! Fallon, get your boy, Fallon. Stop. Get your boy. Stop. Clint, I will, what are you I will, doing? Girl, I will crack that ass, and you know it. I'm not playing. I, I, get this, your boy. This is horrible. I'm not Get your boy, Fallon. Listen, please. Get your boy, Fallon. Just back. go Got in the it. house, because he doesn't have anything to lose. He's a loser. <laughs> I'm a loser. I win the street fight, though. I'm okay. He's not going to do anything to me. 
I know he acts like a woman, but he's not. Yes, let, let me and my wife talk. Let me talk to my wife. I see you when you get inside. Thank you. Me and my wife. Wait, I cannot and I fucking you. believe you. Seriously? Come on, Fowler. Seriously? <laughs> your, little boy, your little boy got in my face. Give me my post. Thank you. Fuck the fuck up on me and shit. Seriously. So that was a good day massage. It was. You need more? Yeah. What kind of massage can I do for you, my brother? Mm, a massage on the lips. On the lips? On the lips. That's all you need? Yes. Hmm? Yeah. I got a couple other places I can give you a massage. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. We can start here. Now the world. You know, Fallon, get off my, Fallon, get off Fallon, my arm. Fallon, you're hurting me. You try that shit again, it's not to be your last one. Can you please let me go? Can you let me go? Don't play with me, Fallon. You're hurting my wrist. Thank you. What the fuck do you want? What are you trying to prove? You run around town with this little boy. You know I'm home. It's disrespectful, baby. And even with Winston gone, you seem to just keep disrespecting me. I don't need a man to protect me. I'm sorry, I don't. Do you want to test that theory, my love? Hmm? Get out of my face! <laughs> you love me so much, you can't stand it. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that one. That one. Up in the morning. That spaghetti smell better than my grandmother's. You're supposed to be helping me. <laughs> I am Boy. helping. I'm watching and I'm I'm keeping you company. So you're gonna be the first person to taste it? Mm-hmm. I'd like to be the first person to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh man, you bring up my dirty thoughts. Stop it. We're after dinner. After? And then you can get dessert. Dessert. <laughs> Listen, I need dinner, snack, dessert. Seconds, uh, maybe even third. All right, let's. You're trying to cook here. Listen. All right, let's. All right, so listen. What do you got to do next? What's the next step? Tell me we that. Maybe to, next time. So we have to season it now. Season it. So you're gonna be the seasoner. Oh. Yeah. To spice it up. Look how that works. <laughs> mm, don't burn yourself now. Shut up. Try to shoot again, Bob. I'm gonna slap the shit out you. Really? Let me ask you something. How do you know that Winston is gone? When did I say that, Uh, you just said it. You know, come to think of it, you know, I've been through this whole little tussle. And where is your little robotic fag? Hmm. You won't do shit. But I might have heard something. Really? I might have heard something, but you ain't gonna do shit. It's gonna cost you a year ago. I'm not giving you anything else. I'm sorry. You sure about that? I'm positive. You can't fucking live without Winston. You can't function without him. Like I told you before, I don't need a man to protect me. You want to test that theory, baby? <laughs> How much is the light worth to you, huh? You know what? Let's, let's play a game. You want Winston? I want the condo. You'll never get it. I'm not done. Finish. And a million motherfucking dollars you have in lost cash. Your motherfucking in mind. cash, baby. <laughs> you won't get it. <laughs> Valen, I'm not playing games with you. I anymore. don't care. You're not getting it. One million dollars. Seven days. <laughs> Seven days. You can baby. find somebody else to try to swindle. Because you won't get that off on me. Bye, girl. All right, sir. Tell your boy toy I said hi. And we will meet again, baby. Love you. I'm 
so fucking tired of you, Wednesday. What pisses me off the most is that she really thinks that you can save her fucking day from me. That's shit that pisses me off the most. That you could actually beat me. The two of you together. We're gonna have so much fun, Winston. Ah, oh, fucking up your life is gonna be like the orgasm to this whole situation. The orgasm to my situation with Val. <laughs> and you are gonna pay so hard for fucking Ashton. Oh, oh, Winston. I cannot wait to make your life. We're gonna have such a